Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the NRSV Cultural Background Study Bible. So this one is the New Revised Standard Version. Comes in a really nicely done clamshell box. I like how they did the photos on there and the artwork that just looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna hold that right there in case you would like to pause and read that section. And then we'll drop down to the features and we're going to see all of those on the inside. Here's our ISBN number. It does retail for $79.99 and as always you can find it for less online and then there will be a link in the description box as well. This particular one measures out at 9 and 5 eighths inches tall, 6 and 3 quarters inches wide and it is 2 and an eighth inches thick. So we've got really nicely done gold gilding on there. So pretty beefy Bible. On here, this one is going to be the tan and brown leather soft. So on the spine and wrapped around on the back is the tan. And then we've got the brown. The brown does have a nice texture to it. And then it is stitched together. So even though it's a bigger, heavier Bible, it does provide a lot of grip. You don't feel like you're going to drop it. On our spine we have NRSV Cultural Background Study Bible, New Revised Standard Version, NRSV, and Zondervan. So it does have a very nice feel to it and I like the way that they've got that stitched on there in that two-tone. So on the inside we're just going to have a paper paste down liner. Got our presentation page and then we get into the title pages. So we've got a quick start guide. So if you get one of these Bibles take the time to spend in these front few pages. So it talks about this particular study Bible and then what help do these study features offer. We've got a table of contents, got a list of all of the charts, a list of all of the maps. Then we get into the author introduction. So it talks about for whom has this study Bible been designed? Can't I read and understand the Bible? just from the text itself and then how does this study Bible different from others so it has a lot of really good questions on here so it talks about please tell me more about the notes in this Bible so for those of you who may want to know about the notes you could pause and read that but definitely take the time to spend in these front few pages and then we've got a what do I need to know before I begin and it's got 11 different things on there. So these pages are done really well. We've got the acknowledgments. So I know some of you like to see the names of the contributors. Then we've got a page of all the abbreviations. We've got our preface. Then we've got a Hebrew to English translation chart, and that's going to be a few pages. And then we've got ancient text relating to the Old Testament. So this chart's really neat because it gives us the title. So like that would be like a Dead Sea Scroll, and then it tells us the origin and then a description. And so these front few pages are actually really neat to look over. And then we get into an Old Testament chronology. But we can also see the stitching there in the gutter. So evidence of our sewn binding. So we start off on the chronology. We start off with the creation and we go through. And as we go through, we're going to see that this grows a little bit. So we've got the biblical period and then along the bottom, we've got the world history. So as the time goes on, we can see that there's more on these few pages. So these front pages on this chronology is actually really neat. Then we get into the Old Testament. So they've got it broken down into those categories there. And on each one of these, as you get to the title page, they all have a really nicely done, just really pretty picture. So we've got the major background issues from the ancient Near East, a couple page long article on that. Then we get into the Torah. So each one of these sections just has a really pretty photograph on them. They did a great job. Then it's going to have the introduction. Then we've got to Genesis. So it's going to give us the date and author, the literary setting, some key concepts. And then we get right into the text. So on the biblical text, we are going to have a double column format. And then all of our references are going to be in the center column. 
it is separated with just a dotted line going across and the text on this one as far as on the biblical text the font is a 10.4 and it's actually really nicely done you can see right there that we're really not getting hardly any ghosting at all so very easy to read same with the references then all of our study notes are also a double column format it is a smaller font on there but it is still very readable so they did a really nice job with it so we're going to have quite a few articles in this one in fact there's over 300 articles some of them are short ones some of them might be a little bit longer some have some of the images which i think are actually really neat so i'm going to flip through we'll see some of these so we've got a neat one on the flood and then this has got the the gilgamesh epic so the most well-known mesopotamian version of the flood it's embedded into this so this is really interesting to read these and to see these photographs we're going to have lots of charts so between the full color photos illustrations and images there's going to be 375 of them so we've got a chart on the major covenants in the old testament we're going to have lots of maps so there's going to be tons of in-text maps that and that's really nice when you're reading in the text and it's right there for you so you don't have to flip to the back then we've got an integrated chronology of the patriarchs but the print in this is really really good you get almost next to no ghosting at all so this one's a neat one on embalming now we've got a chart on the old testament festivals and other sacred days and that goes along the bottom of both of those pages there we've got another article with an actual photograph but the print in this is just really surprisingly good especially for a study bible so we've got a nice two-page spread article on music and musicians and then it's got some coins down here that have actual musicians on them and then some clay figurines so there's so much stuff in this one that it does make it really hard to put down and we've got a little one on lord of the flies and then we've got an artist rendition there of elijah's ascent so i thought that was kind of neat but you can see how nice the print is in that the camera's picking up a little ghosting right there but to the naked eye I'm not seeing it and then the our subject headings and chapter numbers are going to correspond with the colors that are on there depending on what section of the Bible you're in so I do like the way that they did that as well we've got a nice chronology of Kings that goes across those pages we've got all the dates along the bottom there's another example there of one of the photographs that I was talking about just really pretty the way that they do these and then with this kind of a deep red color that's going to be the color that's going to be in this one so as we get over to the biblical text and that's the color that we're going to see on the subject headings and our chapter numbers this is a really neat study bible it also comes in other translations as well so we've got a photo of a temple at Luxor with the two sets of the seven pillars. And I love the actual photographs that are in this one. I think it's just absolutely fascinating. I'm going to drop the camera and get you a little bit closer there. We do have one ribbon marker, kind of a brownish tan color, just a single satin. But it is nice that it does have one. It is a little bit short. So it's not a very long ribbon, so I would like to see them do maybe some longer ribbons in the future. And then maybe on a thick study Bible like this, I would love to see them do a minimum of two ribbons and possibly three. I'll probably add, I'll probably pull this one out and replace it with four ribbons. Here's a neat image of a nilometer, and so it shows how they used to measure the depth of the Nile. So I think that's pretty neat. 
Then we're going to get into the time between the testaments. So some really good information in here. So we've got Palestine of the Maccabees and the Hasmonean dynasties. We've got a chart on that particular period. We're going to have section on literature, social development, and then we've got a timeline on here that goes from Malachi to Christ. So it goes all the way down. We've got all of the dates in there. Then we're going to have the key New Testament terms. And the print in here is just really, really good. And that's a larger print. So it still makes it very easy to read. And they do even offer these Bibles in a large print. In fact, I will be doing a review of the large print NIV edition. So if you wanted to see the difference on the size of the fonts in those, then watch for that video. Then we're going to have a New Testament chronology. So it talks about Christ's early life, his ministry, and then the early church. Then we've got another nice photograph there. This one is one of my favorite ones. I just, there's something about that photo right there that I just absolutely love. So we'll have hearing the gospels as a first century hearers heard them. So I think that is really neat. So lots of things in this one as far as like the gospels as ancient biographies about Jesus, the point of the gospels, the gospels reliable sources, Jesus's teaching, miracle stories. Then there's a question on lost gospels. How the Gospels first circulated, the authorship of the Gospels, and then we get into Matthew. So we're going to have the book introduction to Matthew. And we can see in Matthew here, we've got our biblical text up top and then a lot of notes on there. And on this page, let's see how many verses we've got. So we've got 16 verses there and then that many study notes. We've got an article on Matthew's genealogy. And then one on Herod the Great, and then there's a model of his palace in Jerusalem. So that's pretty neat to see. Got an article on demons in the Bible. One on houses in the Holy Land. And then on this one here, an artist's recreation of the first century houses. So I just love the content that this one has got. Then we've got an art, a uh, chart actually on the Jewish sex. So we've got one arrangement of the life of Christ. So this is a nice chronology type chart. Got a nice photograph here of olive trees in the Garden of Gethsemane. So I love all of the actual photos in this one. Just fascinating. Then we've got an article on Jesus's trial and then a photograph of the Church of St. Peter, which marks a traditional location of Jesus's trial. Then one on Herod's temple and then a model of the temple and the surrounding courtyards and what that may have looked like. We've got an article on Jerusalem the fall of Jerusalem, actually, Joseph and the fall of Jerusalem, Josephus. So there's that there, which that's the Arch of Titus in Rome. And then on our back page here, so we've got the arch up here. And then on this other page, it shows us the inside of that arch. So I think that is really neat. I just got a small book on Josephus that I'm going to start reading. And we've got a two page spread on the Passion Week. And this is really neat the way that they've got it because they've got all the little spots numbered on there. So I'll zoom out there. But as we look closer, like up here by the little crosses, we've got seven, eight, and nine. And then as you look down here, then there's the references and the information for that. And it also gives you all the scripture references as well. So that's pretty neat to see. These pages are really neat. So major archeological finds relating to the New Testament and all of the actual photographs. So we've got an image of Masada there. You can see all that up at the top of that, which is really neat. Then the theater at Ephesus. So the actual photographs in this to me is absolutely fascinating. I think it is so neat to see these. 
And there's just so much evidence for the Bible that I just think it's awesome. So disease in the medicine in the ancient world, and then we've got some ancient Roman surgical equipments, which are a little bit scary looking. I don't want those used on me. Then we've got one suggested harmony of the Gospels. So that's going to be a few pages. Then we get into Acts there, which is one of my favorite books. Then we're going to have a timeline on Paul's life. This photograph here is really neat. So that is an aerial view of the theater at Ephesus. And so that, to me, that is just absolutely awesome. I would love to be able to go to the Holy Land and see all these places. So there's one of the theater and coastline at Caesarea. So that's also really neat to see. We've got the Erastus inscription in Corinth and an article about that. Got an article on head coverings in antiquity. I know some women are big into checking information on that in study Bibles. I've got an article on Paul's experience in the third heaven. So that is a neat one to read. We've got a little chart on the fruit of the spirit. So there's just so much stuff in here. It does really make it hard to decide what to show in a video. We've got the one on the books of the Apocrypha, writing materials in the ancient world. So we've got an inkwell from the scriptorium at Qumran. So that was before AD 68. So I thought that was pretty neat. And then an article on sealing documents in Revelation 5. So it gives us a model of a papyrus document sealed with four clay bulla. So kind of maybe what the seals may or may not look like, hard to say. We've got dimensions of the New Jerusalem. So that is a neat one. There really is a ton of neat stuff in this one. And this Bible is also available in the NIV and the New King James. So we're going to have a list of all of the articles in canonical order as well as alphabetical order. So I do like the fact that it gives us both so that way it makes it easier to find. Then we've got the glossary and concordance. And one thing that I really like on this is the size of the print. So this isn't even a large print Bible, yet everything in here is really readable. So we're going to get back to an index of the maps after we get past our concordance. And then we are going to have 14 maps. These are done on Bible paper, so that is really nice. So I know a lot of people will like that, but really nicely done maps. I like that they're on this Bible paper. I think that is really nice. So again, 14 full color maps. Again, the print on the maps too is really easy to read. Even the small print on there with readers, I can read that. Then we're gonna have some note pages. So we've got five and a half pages there. They are lined, so you can keep your notes nice and straight. So it is nice to have some note pages. Then on our back page, we've got a note regarding the typesetting, which is done by 2K Denmark. And with the different comfort prints, all of the comfort print ones are done differently for each translation, so the NRSV has one that's different than the New King James, the King James, and the NIV. So they are unique to the translation, so I do like that. So again, this is the NRSV Cultural Background Study Bible. There's the ISBN number, and I will put a link in the description box, but if you don't like this particular translation, you can check them out in the NIV and the New King James as well. And I will be doing a review coming up here soon on the NIV one, but in the large print edition. So you can see how different that one might be on the, as far as the fonts. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.